Finally, Spellbooks have their boss monster, High Priestess of Prophecy. This card is nuts. She special summons from the hand. She destroys cards in the field. Spellbooks are known for putting your opponent to sleep, but no more. You could end the duel very quickly with High Priestess of Prophecy. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. What she do, and how do we summon her? Well, let's get into that. Reveal three spell books in your hand to special summon her. Then you can once per turn destroy any card in the fields by banishing a spell book from the hand or the graveyard. There's another way to summon her, and that is through Temperance. This is a regular normal summon monster. Its effect is if you activated a spellbook card this turn, you could tribute it to special summon your priestess from the deck. So if you're missing priestess, play more Temperance. Otherwise, going back and forth, that's the main way to summon. In addition to High Priestess of Prophecy, we got some new tricks for the deck. We have Spellbook of Wisdom and the Tower. Wisdom will protect your spell books from any card effects that are spells or traps you choose. It's searchable, so you would think, what makes this better than Lance? Well, it's searchable with your spell book of secrets and your blue boy to protect your priestess. Now, the tower will essentially make it so during your draw phase, technically your standby phase, you draw two cards a turn. You recycle your spell books in the graveyard, you put them back in your deck, you draw an additional card. So setting this up early with the Spellbook of Fate is incredible. You do need a Spellbook monster on, or I should say, a, yeah, a Spellcaster on the field and or in the graveyard. It doesn't even have to be a Spellbook monster. We're playing Show of Nightmares. When you have three different spells in the graveyard, you could randomly add one of them to the hand. This will help summon your Priestess onto the field as you're going through all your Spellbook cards, activating them, randomly add to the hand, hopefully your third copy of a spell to reveal and summon your Priestess. This deck could very easily one turn kill with a blue boy and a priestess, which is 3000 damage plus a spell book of power, which is searchable. So now the deck could easily destroy a card in the field, inflict 4000 damage with the spell book of power and protect from back row with the spell book of wisdom. Beyond that, the core card is spell book of fate. You are mostly going to banish two cards from your grave to flip a card in the field face down without targeting or Banish three spellbooks from your grave during either player's turn to banish a card off the field without targeting. And to make the deck more consistent, Blue Boy on Summon will search for a spellbook, Secrets will search for a spellbook, Master will copy a spellbook in the grave so you can search again just to fill up the grave for your fate. Use Library when you have no spellbooks in the graveyard, which is very easy to do so with your Prophecy and your Tower, getting cards out of the graveyard so you could activate this. Power but boost, Eternity, add banished cards back to the hand. That is basically the deck. Set up and protect with Spellbook of Fate and crush them with High Priestess of Prophecy. Spellbooks are back and they will not put you to sleep. All right, Dark Magician matchup, let's go. I tried Kiwi and Lollies. What's a Kiwi and the Lolly? What are you talking about? Kiwi and Lollies. Kiwi. Kiwi and the Lolly deck. One back row card. Well, let's check it out with the blue boy. Blue Boy gets summoning, and it is a Champion's Vigilance. Holy moly. Champion's Vigilance. Wow. All right. Good thing we have the High Priestess. Come forth. Reveal. One, two, three. High Priestess of Prophecy to play around the Champion's Vigilance. Bah. Boost up the Priestess. Not once, but twice. Bah! Boost up the Priestess. Let's go. Boost her up. Activate her effect at 4,500 attack. Get banishing. Get popping. Activate the field spell. And just like that, Yugi, you're finished. Yes. Got him. Let's go. $50 of prize support. Oh my, we got the mirror match. Oh my, oh my. Focus. 
you want Kiwi Type 0, you want Witchcrafter Type 0, I do have a Witchcrafter Type 0 deck cooked up. I could whip it out. I could whip it out. All right, set up for the fate. Let's go. We do have the wisdom. We do have the wisdom. We do have the wisdom. What do we, do we really want to draw into our own priestess? Yeah, priestess temperance. Would we even summon the blue boy? What do you think? Get drawing. Well, library. What are we searching for in the library? In the library, we want to search for, we want to grab a fate, a field spell, and a power could be quite good. When you don't put secrets or master within the library, you know that they have good cards in their hand. You know they have them in the hand. Grab the field spell, okay. Let's not reveal the wisdom. One, two, three. What are we doing here? I would love to go for a Spellbook of Power lethal play. What do you think? Lethal with Spellbook of Power? That sounds pretty good to me. Would he allow it? Would he fall for it? Hopefully he activates his fate. But if he flips down the blue boy, okay, good. He's going for a banish. He's going for a banish. We got this. Let's go. Flame on. Spellbook of fate. Arcana, your fate is to go back to Fortnite. Spellbook of wisdom. Unaffected by spells this turn. Is it just my, my opponents? But unaffected by other spells this turn. Okay, we don't get the baboost from the power. Secrets, come to me, blue boy. Blue boy, you're not unaffected. The blue boy's not unaffected. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Power! Power up my blue boy! Want him nice and large! Nice and large! Large and in charge, my blue boy! Gonna send this fool back to Fortnite! Get Bunishin! Bunish! The library! Pop! The justice! Spell Book of Tower! We're not even, not even, not even, no skill! No skill! No effect! No effect! Lethal! Yes! Spell books! Sleep on it! Let's get secreting. Secrets grab the master. Blue boy, get searching. Or the fate. Now, Blue Boy for Library is also very good here. Reveal. Search with Secrets. Now, there's options here. We could go for the Field Spell, which I feel would be good for drawing if our Blue Boy hits the graveyard, and we'll just be able to flip face down with the Fate. Otherwise, if we want to banish a Fate, we can grab a Wisdom or just activate a Power just to put a third Spellbook in the graveyard. I'm going to grab the Spellbook Tower. We're going to go for the Long Game. The Long Game. Very good. Let's get setting. Let's get going. Let's go. And we got to put on the World Champ mat after this. H. Murata, are you here? Would you like to make a dual room tournament for me, please? If so, make it for 645. That would be good. Thank you very much. Spell Book of Fate. No need to fate. Thank you, Murata. You can make it for two hours. This says, if you have a spell book on your side of the field or in your graveyard, you get to draw an additional card. That is absolutely insane. The Spellbook of Tower is insane. Normally they're swinging into your blue boy 
and it's in the graveyard. Holy moly. I'm going to return the master back in the deck. Draw a card. Very good. Now, master can reveal blue boy. So we'll grab secrets into master. Pot of greed's a good field spell. Yes, it is. Spellbook navigation. That's okay. There is no circle. Double navigation. That is definitely okay. All right, come at me. Yes, Farouk, we're working on that right now. Dark Magician is here. Now let's grab the Spellbook of the Master. Master will copy secrets by revealing the blue boy. You do need a Spellbook of the Hand in order to activate your Master, so please be careful of that. We have a full field. This is a potential problem. This is a potential problem. Spellbook of the Master, reveal the blue boy. Copy the secrets. And uh, add power. Power does nothing. To D. And then we have to spell Book of Fates. Spell Book of Fate. One, two, three. Banish the Dark Magician off the fields. Spell Book of Eternity. Add back the secrets. Okay, next turn, we gotta do, this is it, this is it, this is it! Let's go! Focus! Rise! Dark magic attack! Activate the Grand Tower, come forth! Temperance into defense! Who believes? Got one back row card. Does not have lethal. He's got nothing on us. We take that dark magic attack. He has to take out the temperance or he's in trouble. I don't know why he's even thinking about it. There you go. Good thing we have temperance in the hand. We need to figure out that back row card. We need to check for delays right now. It's nothing. It is nothing. Now, due to show of nightmares, come to me, Spellbook of Fates, and... Blue boy. Blue boy, get searching. And with the search, we're going to grab a master. Come forth, priestess. The high priestess is here. Reveal, one, two, three. Let's get going. Let's get going. Do not chain. Priestess, activate. We're going to banish the tower from the grave. Get. Popping. That's okay. Negate. Negate. We could have popped our own blue boy if we wanted to. And then some of the other priestess. This is okay. We are okay. I repeat. We're okay. We got this. Dark Illusion, Negate, Resummon. That is not good. That is not a good, we got this. That is, we don't got this. That was not good at all. That was really bad. Let's just take out the Dark Magician. Recoup our efforts next turn. Let's cut down on the explanations a little bit. Easy win, let's go. Thousand Knives, that does nothing. So we used up his Dark Illusion, that's okay. Dark Illusion was used up last turn, so he's not going to resummon another Dark Magician. It's good that we use it up then. 1600. Okay. Come forth. The High Priestess. High Priestess is here. Get popping. Pop you. Activate. We need power for lethal.
Master. What you got, boy? What you got? Spellbook of Power. Let's go. Attack. It's good. Attack. Lethal. Dark Magician has been wiped. Let's go.